Hello, Wanda, the Foiling Rock Lady here with you tonight. I want to do another hummingbird. I've done several of these at uh, Rockin' Our Art on Facebook. And they are available for tutorials also, if you would like to view those. Anyways, um, I use carbon paper and I trace my image on the rock so that I'm very clear about of my lines I like straight lines so you can do that or you can freehand I'll be honest I'm terrible at freehanding so I like to do it this way <laughs> saves everybody a lot of heartache anyways I've already started lining just to save some time so I'm using a regular liner brush with jet black by apple barrel and I'm just doing a basic line around my hummingbird and um, I will probably do a gold line as well And let's see. Got these fluffy feathers around the face. Hummingbirds are so beautiful. And even though they go a million miles an hour, they seem so peaceful. I think we could all use some peace in our lives right now. Don't forget to breathe when you're painting. I've noticed lately with everything that's going on in the world, it's so hard to just breathe. Just breathe. And paint. So when I'm finished with this lining, I'm going to use Chromatech brush pens. They're watercolor brush pens. And they're beautiful. And then I'm going to use nail foils, of course. <laughs> the foil lady can't do it without nail foils, huh? So we will bring this hummingbird to glittering life. Hummingbird, you are almost there. They have the most big, beautiful eyes. Okay. I think I'm going to line with Treasure Gold 3081E. Pop the bubble. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stay to the outside of my black line. It doesn't have to be perfect, honestly, because for some reason it just accents it. 
makes it all ties it all together so you don't have to be perfect if you are using this gold it does get sticky so you don't want to drag it and if you lift off watch for strings because they'll lay down on your rock like that <laughs> so, that's all right Another way you can line is with the disposable eyeliner brushes. They're super easy. They're a bit firmer than this, so if you're not used to using a liner brush or homemade liner brush, uh, yeah, you can use a disposable eyeliner brush like this, which is what I use for the nail foil glue works really well for lining. If you make a boo-boo, it's not too, too bad. You can come back and touch it up with black paint. Do a little touching up. I love this gold. It is the goldest of the golds, I think. We are getting there. I want to remind everybody to wear gloves when you are working with these glues and UV lights. While you may never have a reaction, it's generally not skin friendly if you're using it a lot. And like me, I use it every day, several times a day, it can cause you some heartache. So please, please, please wear your gloves a small sacrifice to save you lots of heartache. I have a glass top desk. <laughs> I guess I should be a little careful, huh? If you've never seen the watercolor uh, chromatex on a rock. Oh, you're prepared for a treat. Be prepared for a treat. They are gorgeous. And they surprise you. Because 
sometimes you think, hmm, kind of dull. And then you put the foil on top of them. Beautiful. I guess it's in that way, it's like alcohol ink, but. All right, we have one lined hummingbird. So now, just going to fix the eye a bit. Tech. So you can be as creative as you want around your hummingbird. I think today I'm going to go for blues and greens and maybe some purple. But I'm going to start out here with the green and just paint. Color and paint. doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it with other colors. This is called Hickory. Sorry, the other one is Persian Green. Hickory is sort of a red-brown color. It's really pretty. Maybe a little coppery brown. Just doing the top there. This is Bordeaux. We're going to do that up here. Now I'm going to blend those two together with rose carmine. And then the magic will happen. Blue gray. Blend the rose carmine and the Bordeaux back into Persian green, I believe. Yeah, Persian green. Got a very beautiful blend going there. I'm going to use the same color here just to soften this a bit. Okay, yellow, green. I 
And because we're not working on white, these, this is going to be a muted yellow. If you wanted to add some white, that is all right also. Super simple. Just take a bit. You can take a paint pen or some on a brush. Pepper it in there. And blend it back down. All you got to do with these brushes is wipe them off and they come clean or dip them in water. It's watercolor. Super, super forgiving. Okay, this is Azure or Azuri. I'm not sure how to say that. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to do a blue belly. Blend that one down a bit with turquoise. Let me do a few little wisps around there. This is regular blue. Just the tips here in the outer part. Heron blue, which is just barely visible. Blend that down. If you make a boo-boo, grab a little clear water. Rinse it off. Should be fine. All right, let's do this upper portion of our wing. Do that in, we'll do a brighter, bright pink. And then I'm going to blend back down in here. And I will be touching up my gold a bit. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got so far. Beautiful. Beautiful bird. All right, we got a black beak here. I'm going to paint that in. This is a disposable eyeliner brush. Just 
Sorry, I have to turn it a little bit. I think I'm going to extend this a bit, make it a little longer. I'm going to touch up some toes. And our eye. And then I'm going to add a white dot to the eye, give it some life. You can use a jelly roll or acrylic. I'm just going to use the jelly roll today. And then I'm going to also do this little portion out here. Pretty eye. See, he's so getting cute. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, and a little beak here. Now it's time for foils. Fun, fun. Gloves on. Everybody put your gloves on. Right now. Gloves, gloves. Oops. Pardon me. Pardon the bounce. Right. Tonight I'm using Mac Art foil glue. I'm going to pour a little off into the well here. Move these out of the way. And start foiling or applying your glue and you want to apply it everywhere but your lines and today I'm using transparent nail foils so it's going to give this a very beautiful holographic effect okay and I'm not going to do all of this with you for the sake of the time on the video but we will oh. 
I'm going to pause and be back. Okay, you want to keep putting your glue. On your bird, not on your gold, just to try to stay off your lines. So that definition gives it texture, like a cushioned look. So I'm doing a lot of sections at once because we're working with transparent holographics. They're faceted and textured, so it's going to give our bird different looking areas. And I will show you that in just a moment. Okay, I want you to see how I'm just laying this down. I'm going to use the UV LED light. This is a 6 watt mini mouse style light by MacArt. Also available on Amazon. It cycles about 60 seconds per cycle. So when you turn it on, you get about a minute before it turns off. Usually to cure this glue, it's about a minute minimum. So I'm going to turn it on it over my area so this will probably take two cycles because it's bigger than my light so I'll have to do one here and then one here and then we'll do another one for the body so I'm gonna pause it so you do not have to sit through that okay our light just finished these are the faceted nail foils and I am going to pick a few different ones First one, you're going to want to grab some scissors and some tweezers. For this part of the wing out here, I want to use this larger faceted star-like foil. So I'm going to clip off a section, lay it on there, face down. With these clear ones, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can feel the back. There's a bit of drag on it. So you put that down on your rock. I like to use a silicone nail tool to make it, to shove it down in there, <laughs> stick it in the holes and the dips and the divots and make sure it's really on there. And then peel that off and the magic happens. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> You're like, where has foil been my whole life, right? And that is why I'm called the foil lady. <laughs> Same thing here. And they're very staticky. <laughs> and then around the head or the face, we're going to do a different texture. I just want to make sure this is all filled in. You see how I'm just filling it in? These are very forgiving on these transparent ones, so you can just do your thing. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so around the face, I want the feathers to appear smaller. So I'm going to use this larger crushed glass looking facet. Cut off a little section. Grab my tweezers. Pick it up. Apply it to our head. Hopefully the eyes dry. <laughs> my tool in there okay Mr. Hummingbird or Mrs. fix this part right there And I'm going to go ahead and do the glue on these parts, and I'll be back to show you when we lay down the foils. Okay. I'm going to pick out some more foils for these sections. So we have the small fluffy part here, the belly, 
back tail. And I like to do smooth on the back upper part. So I'm going to use this foil here. It's nice and smooth with some lines in it. So that's the one for the upper back. And then for these feathers here, I'm going to use a large crushed glass looking one here. I'm going to do those now. careful with your foils so they don't fall into the places you don't want them. Okay. Then this one, I'm going to hold it. Oh, I think this one might be upside down. It is. So if that happens, <laughs> Turn your foil over, shiny side up toward you, dull side down on the rock, okay? This particular box of foils came upside down, so I got to remember that. I keep forgetting to mark it. Anyways, you can mark your foils by drawing a line down the back of them, the right side, drawing a line down the side that faces you or writing this side on here so that it looks right when you look at it. I'm going to add this here make sure you keep the if it's got a pattern on it keep it going the same direction see the so pretty it's like a stained glass window beautiful all right and this one on the belly I call this one laser I don't know what it is but it's beautiful my absolute favorite foil of all time. Isn't that gorgeous? And the belly. And guess what, folks? That's it. You did a complete foiled hummingbird. And who wouldn't love to have this? Sign your work. Definitely add words if you like. Like peace, love, hope. We need all of that stuff in our life right now. So see, there's a section here. I don't know if you can see it. That is missing a small spot there. You can reapply your glue over the entire area. I wouldn't recommend doing small spots. If you need to repair an area, apply, it's so pretty, apply glue over the entire spot and then refoil. But it's not so bad that I'm going to redo it. It's just beautiful. Okay. That's that. I will add the information on the products used today in the description. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And as always, you can follow us on Facebook at Rockin' Our Art. And there's lots of tutorials and stuff over there for you to have fun with as well. Thank you.